Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we'll be doing a driving comparison between a BMW 3 Series and a Mercedes C Class to see which luxury sedan drives the best. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the BMW of Pleasant Grove for giving me some time with this 3 Series. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Brian. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the visibility before we set off here in the BMW. Here's visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, the rest of the rear, and, oh, we actually have to reverse out. <laughs> I'll set up. So first off, again, disclaimer, I understand the imperfection in this comparison because it's a 340i, M340i, versus a C300, right? It'd be better if I had, you know, a 330i versus that C300, or, you know, this versus a C43, um, but, you know, supply is really, still really tight um, for the most part with both manufacturers, um, especially with these three series, it seems like. And so you just gotta, you know, I just gotta make do with what we have available right now. Um, but with that being said, you know, I still kind of, I wanna focus more on like the car itself because like the difference between a 330i and a, you know, 340i like this is less so the interior and more so just the powertrain. And then same thing with that Mercedes C-Class, like a C300 versus C43, the biggest difference, right, is again, the powertrain. So, and I'll talk about that because I've driven 330i, I've also driven C43. Gosh, let's get into the actual <laughs> review itself after all my disclaimers and stuff. Um, so first off, ride quality is, it's good in the BMW. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this compares to the Mercedes back to back, but it's good. Definitely have a lot of torque uh, with this powertrain as well. I think that's a plus. Sorry, I'm gonna have to turn this up a little bit because man, it is, this is 106 degrees outside and this car has been sitting in the sun all day. So it's uh, toasty in here to say the least. Um, but yeah, I think the ride quality is good. It's, you know, this would be a really good daily driver. The steering, there's a, it's actually a little bit of on-center vagueness, but it's, it's, it's direct. Um, we'll see if it changes up in the sport mode and everything. Seats are pretty comfortable. Interesting to see how that compares as well. Now, something that I'm going to complain about with both these cars is both of these vehicles are luxury cars and neither of them have air-conditioned seats. Like, they both have seven seats. Like, BMW, Mercedes, a car doesn't have to be $100,000 to have air-conditioned seats. Like, that, Kias that are $30,000 to have air-conditioned seats, I think that could be standard on something like this. See how that is going over the bump? Ooh, pretty good. Love the torque. Love the torque from this engine. And you know, the two liter that's in the BMW also um, is, is really strong. I'd say that this is the strongest midline powertrain um, in this segment, uh, the B58. And then BMW's four cylinder, I wouldn't say it's necessarily the strongest, but it's very competitive. So that, that's a good way to kind of differentiate a 330i versus an M340i is the 330i is competitive, whereas this is, it's, it's really good. And speaking of really good, Woo! <laughs> Love the uh, burbles at the exhaust. It's like pop, 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 pop. That's definitely, definitely fun. So let's get into setting things up here with the BMW um, before we pop into the Mercedes and obviously kind of, obviously talk about the Mercedes and then something's up for the comparison. So the BMW, see the comfort's good. Uh, suspension's comfortable. The engine's amazing. Uh, like I said, the, so the entry level engine in this is great but it's not like the best. This I feel like is the best in this segment. And then with the BMW M3, I think that engine's really solid too. Um, so I think that BMW, like the thing that makes them stand out is obviously the performance. And that makes sense. That's kind of what this manufacturer goes after is uh, performance. And I think that this M340i really shows that in this segment is it's, you know, that's the thing that stands out with the most is just the, the performance side of things. So with that being said, let's pop into the C-Class and see kind of how that compares to this BMW. Well, 
Well, let's talk about visibility in the Mercedes before we set off. Here's visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, time to set off in the C-Class. And I can tell you, I already have a different <laughs> feel with this car compared to the BMW. Uh, I will say, first off, the seats, they are more comfortable. Um, it seems like the padding's a little bit better here in the C-Class, so I do like the seat comfort more. And again, I, I kind of said this in the walk-around comparison, but I just like the overall kind of feel of this interior a little bit more. It just seems like it's, again, more like luxury based, if that makes sense. The BMW is sporty, which is cool, but this just has like a level of theater to it that the BMW just doesn't quite uh, have. Now, another thing is the ride quality seems to be a, not like way better, but a little bit better in the Mercedes, but that is at the cost of the handling and the driving dynamics. Like this doesn't feel nearly as engaging to drive and it just doesn't, it handles well, but it doesn't handle as well. And the steering, it, I don't feel like I, it doesn't communicate as well. It doesn't seem like I, every single time I do that so many times. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't feel like it's, yeah, it's, it's telling me as much. So there's that difference too. And I, I don't know, I just, I feel more relaxed in this. I feel like I'm just trying to just drive and be comfortable. Whereas in the BMW, it's like, I, I almost like want to get on it and it's kind of like egging you on. This, yeah, just definitely don't get as much of that feeling. It's not nearly as much about the sporty aspect of things. It does seem like the damping's a little bit better. So yeah, kind of my initial thoughts there with the walk around, it seems like they're applying to the driving dynamics as well. It seems like this is more focused on luxury. Whereas the BMW 3 Series, it seems like that's more focused on sportiness and handling as well. One thing I will mention, the fit and finish on both these is really good. I think the BMW might actually have better fit and finish, which surprises me. Uh, because, you know, your Mercedes, it's kind of like known for that. So it's not like this is bad, but yeah, it seems like this stuff is not as tight um, as what you have with the BMW, but I mean, it's, I mean, compared to like most cars, it's, it's very solid. So it's, it's definitely, uh, quite a bit above what you usually see. Now we'll get a little acceleration here with the C-Class doing a slightly different driving route, I guess. Woo. <laughs> Obviously, again, it's technically in a class below when it comes to powertrain, so it's not nearly as quick as the BMW. It's good, um, but you do feel like this does feel like a heavier car too. The BMW feels like lighter on its feet overall. So to sum things up, when it comes to exterior styling, I think they both look good. This definitely, like I said, more on the luxury side. BMW is more on the sporty side. I think I like the look of the BMW a little bit more, but I, I still think they both look good in their own right. And then interior, I think the Mercedes just wins. Um, I think the style's better. I think that this stuff, it's, you know, pretty similar, right, in terms of user friendliness. So not a huge deal there. But yeah, I don't know, I just, I like, when I get in here, I feel like I'm in something that's more upscale, more special, whereas the BMW, it just, it feels more plain. So I, I think that, I think that BMW's made their interior really, like, well-built and focused, but it's just not, there's no style to it. Whereas this feels like it has some style. It feels like there's almost some emotion with this interior. Hopefully that kind of makes some sense. And then, you know, when it comes to driving dynamics, again, this is definitely more focused on the luxury side of things. Uh, the seats are a little bit more comfortable. The ride quality is a little bit more comfortable. Whereas the BMW, you can tell it's more about sportiness and handling and all that kind of stuff. So. I guess to close off, if you want more of a luxury experience, the Mercedes is gonna provide that. If you want luxury combined with sporty driving, the BMW is going to provide that. So it, it ultimately will just kind of depend on um, what you are looking for in the vehicle. So let me know which one you like the most after seeing the walk around comparison and then this driving comparison, the C-Class or the uh, BMW. I, I think it's just ultimately two different uh, buyers. I think that, yeah, I think that's kind of the best way to sum it. And I guess the other way to uh, sum things up is, I think this, the C-Class is the best car in this entry level segment. So like Audi A4, BMW 330i, 
um, in Mercedes C300, but I think the BMW M340i is the best in the class that that's in. So Audi S4, again, M340i, and then Mercedes C43. So I guess that I, you know, compared the best of uh, both against each other. It's a good way to put it. But let me know your thoughts.